<sighs> hey guys, what's up? Time for another Game Theory video. Remember, if you like these videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share. If you want to support the channel, PayPal, Patreon, whatever it is. So I'm going to talk about something that I've talked about a little bit before, but I've actually thought of a few different examples that I can give. So there's actually a little bit of new shit here. But So there is a misconception, actually, that block damage only benefits zoners. That zoning would be too good. So when I've talked about how block damage should be in this game, and this game has a lot of fundamental problems, there's always that hater that doesn't know anything about video games and thinks that I'm wrong, despite me never being wrong about anything. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, it's fucking true, right? But, and they'll be like, well, no, you know, so there's always people like, oh yeah, block damage would make zoning more effective. But then there will be people that like, oh no, then zoning will be too good. This is a misconception, actually, that block damage only benefits zoners. This is a huge misconception. So I want to touch on that. I'm going to show some great examples here. And I also want to talk about how this is also going to show how fundamental changes, very simple changes, can have a drastic effect on a video game. And by one aspect of the video game, something getting better, it also shows a different shade of something else, maybe you could say it, that also then brings out the beauty of the other part of the game, right? So, to show that it doesn't only benefit zoners, you know, I often use the Vegito example, right? The Vegito shit like this, you know what I mean? You know, tighten this shit up, you know what I mean? Make this shit real, you know what I mean? So that's like a legitimate threat that you have to use the game system to get out of that, right? Make it a little bit tighter. It's actually doing block damage. Even if he isn't a mix-up character per se, he's a pressure character with weak mix-up but good pressure and good block damage. So eventually you have to try to guess to get out of it, right? And he, he can be quite versatile, you know, he can, you know, he can be a little bit of a zoner harassing you. Fix, you know, that should be a frame one invincible reversal, get rid of this bullshit, whatever, right? He's versatile in some ways, but by this shit getting better, by me banshee blasting all over the place, this kind of shit getting better, guess what? This also makes other attributes of moves better. Let's look at something like this, right? Let's look at a character like Trunks. Now, most characters in this game have fireballs. If, if not all characters basically have a fireball, right? He has a laser beam too, but he is not someone that you would traditionally think of as a zoner, right? But the game also just so happens to serendipitously, he has counters to zoning, right? So Vergeter, Vergeter, I don't remember the key, I don't remember these characters' names. Vegeta, he's my favorite character. I forget his fucking name. So Vegito, you know, doing this shit, he's shooting fireballs wherever. That's doing block damage in this game. But guess what? Did you forget that? Boy, that just goes through that lickety split. Right? He doesn't give a fuck about that. Now, by block damage game getting better and zoning getting better. Does this attribute of a non-zoning character also on display more? So a character like Vegito, who basically encompasses... It, it, Vegito is almost a all-around potential character besides weak mix-up, which is actually kind of fucking awesome, right? Vegito, he, you know, fit, tighten up his shit, real block damage. He, he has a lot of versatile shit, potentially. Like I said, he's actually a potentially really fucking awesome character, actually. Just so serendipitously happens, you know. It's not because he's my favorite character, and it's, he's not even how I would have done him in the game, but serendipitously, you can look at this character and you're like, wow, there's a great idea here if they would have trusted the game. But, you know, he basically is an all-around character, and his one weakness is his mix-up, right? But that's okay. Not every character should be awesome in everything, right? But by Vegito having even zoner aspects, now these lesser aspects, and I'm not saying this isn't a good move with Trunks already. I'm not saying this move sucks already. I mean, we can see this move is, you, you know, and if we were to look at this move in a regular fighting game, you might be like, what the fuck is this move? It looks ridiculous, right? But there's an idea of this move here that is not on display enough. When a zoner gets better, now, Trunks' special attributes get better as well, right? So if Vegito, if he's zoning with that shit, well, guess what? Now he has, now Vegito has a counter character. This move counters some of Vegito's shit. 
specifically and very well because let's look at this it's also a counter hit right this game has bullshit counter hits now imagine if this was actually a real counter hit so, so let's say if it was a real counter hit and you get hit by this boom and this is a counter hit you know maybe trunks doesn't need to get a full combo but maybe trunks hits this on boom and let's say boom that will combo he gets a little bit more he doesn't just have to vanish off it or, or super right you know what i mean it doesn't have to bounce the guy right next to him. It doesn't have to be, because obviously, I, I do agree, this move is, is a very sketchy road in a real game, right? Because it's pretty crazy, right, if you look at it. It's a potentially very versatile move. But it's still a move they didn't trust enough, and there's not enough foundation with it, right? It, the idea is there, but it's on a, it's in a game with a sketchy foundation, right? So if we look at, we look at his owner, man, he doesn't give a fuck about that. Now Trunks can counter some of that shit, and it's special, and it's doing a counter hit, so guess what? Again, the guy doesn't have to bounce the full screen so Trunks gets a medium combo, but maybe it hits the guy and he can now get a fire a laser beam after it or something. A little bit more. Even shit like this, if Vegito's doing boom, 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 boom. Oh god, this is real now! This shit is real! That's real now! Oh wait, I didn't actually time it, my bad. This shit is real now! <laughs> shit, let me do the voice again! This shit is real, Bob! You better get your act together, motherfucker! You're in for some trouble! <laughs> okay. So anyway, this shit is real. Now, most characters gotta use the actual game now to get out of that because it's pretty legitimate, but not Trunks. Trunks are just like, guess what? Ah, eh, fuck you! Now, and I'm, and I'm showing this because I, I, I don't want my character just to be the best in the game. I think it's cool when characters have counters against them. Imagine if Trunks potentially has a easier counter an easier time against vegeto maybe vegeto is a really good character against a lot of characters in the game but guess what maybe a character like trunks oh god this move fucking destroys him it's just so versatile against vegeto isn't that actually kind of cool we have this shit like boom 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 blah 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 fuck my titties hopefully i timed it right so i'm not wait you know he can block that if you do it like that but oh guess what you forgot about this motherfucker trunks doesn't give a fuck that hit a counter hit. And hit a counter hit, so now I can get a laser beam and a combos or some bullshit. Isn't that actually pretty cool? And you know, Trunks, he has laser beams, and I'm not saying Trunks would have no block damage, because of course he should have some block damage. But, by other characters being more versatile, it makes these other moves now able to shine as well. Do you get what I'm saying? And of course, just speaking about Trunks as well, we're talking about how Fireball should do more block damage. Who's messaging me? Oh, she's pretty hot, actually. But we're going to finish this fucking video. Fuck you, bitch. Anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's say that this move... God, this move does piddly block damage. Let's say this move does three times as much block damage. I don't know. It could do a chunk of block damage. Not Maybe not a chunk, but let's say it does three times as much block damage. And that's why I said what I would change about Trunks is I would actually make this move more of a focal point on this character, right? It's okay if Trunks has, you know, potentially, you know, Trunks is, well, I guess he has more mix-up than Vegito, right? But I think if you look at Trunks, you know what I mean? A lot of people say, like, oh, he doesn't have a too low or light, too little kick, whatever it is. So it kind of sucks that this is his low or whatever. But I said my change for Trunks, I would focus on this, right? The game has real block damage, so guess what? This move is very versatile. Nah, if this move can actually kill you, and let's just say it does triple the block damage, that's gonna add up when this move is more versatile. And the moves that I would give Trunks, so normally he has this, right? I would say when you have this move and you hold down the button, if you hold down the button and you press circle, out of this move, he automatically does the ninja dash, right? So boom, he has an EX move that is boom, automatic, almost, full screen and he does that move and he, and he can cancel it with other shit too he can still cancel it in the flip he can then cancel it into that whatever it is but that gives trunks so not only from this position on the screen from this position in the screen the opponent is like wow this is doing real block damage now if trunks goes in with this he has this fake here and then he can do imagine i cancel it into the ninja dash which then hits low, right? And I can cancel it with whatever, I can cancel it with that, I can cancel with this, I can do a flippy, flippity, flip, flip shit, whatever the fuck I'm doing, right? You know what I mean? Blue, 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 oh my God, what is he doing, right? And then also I would give him another move out of it, maybe when you hold down that button, if you were to press, hold down the button, then press down and circle, right? Then he would have a move where he comes down and he 
maybe he slashes the guy like this. And then it's overhead from that range. Can you imagine? That gives Trunks a pretty big fear factor. Do you know what I mean? Trunks isn't a zoning character. Trunks has, you know, some people say a weaker mix-up than he should. But guess what? Now when he has an EX bar, the man, you're you're in trouble right here. You, you you can't really zone him out because you're afraid of this, and now there's counter hits in the game. It's actually doing real block damage. If he goes into here and he does an EX move, you have to block low for that side, or for the side you're on. And if he were to press down... Oh, whatever it is, he comes down with the shining slash on this side, and so it's like, wow, that's actually kind of a mix-up. And you might say, like, okay, well, the opponent can just jump away. Well, okay, the opponent can just jump away, but guess what? Even if the opponent's jumping away, unfortunately, I forgot the block. Imagine the opponent's blocking. <laughs> this was not really a pre-planned. This was not really a planned video, as you can tell. Well, then, okay, if the if the guy blocks it, he's taking block damage. And then you're, you know, he's into the stun. Actually, how, what is the advantage on that with the block hit? Just minus three, that's not too bad. Right, there you go. So, you know, you're still, you know, yeah, so that's not too bad, whatever it is. You can even make it do a little bit more stun so you're at even, imagine you're at even. Whatever it could be, you know what I mean? It's like, wow. Again, such a simple fix would have such a drastic difference on this game. And the idea that block damage only benefits zoners is not true at all do you think block damage do you think only now fireballs we're gonna do you think only the characters that have like laser beams and shit are doing block damage? no everyone's doing block damage and this is this is so simple and it shows like the kind of you know retardation of the fucking community that they can't put two and two and two together look at a game like street fighter 2 does is i think e honda actually has the most block damage in the game he's not a zoner but guess what? He had his 100 hand slap. He's fucking slapping. He's slapping, slapping the fucking shit out of your block damage, right? So really, chip damage benefits more people than just zoners. You're just looking at the game. You're such a thin intellectual. You're not looking at the bigger picture of the game, right? And so I just wanted to show that because it's, it's an easy example. And it shows that not only is one character shining, but now the other character is shining because these attributes are already kind of in the game. They just were not trusted enough to shine, right? Anyway, I wanted to show that off.